How's it going everyone, and welcome back to LT3D. Today we're going to be testing the Flashforge Adventure 5M's print quality, and to do that I'm going to be printing everything preloaded on the machine. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get printing. There are five preloaded files of the Adventure of 5M. A cookie cutter, a gearing, starfish mold, hex scraper, and a ribbed vase or container. I was quite surprised to see that there wasn't a preloaded Benchy on the Adventure of 5M. However, I did find out that on the Adventure of 5M Pro, there is a pre-sliced fast Benchy. Uh, luckily, the town I live in has an official Flashforge distributor, so I reached out to them and they have sent me the test file from their Adventure of Ivan Pro they have in the office there. So I appreciate that. Um, let's get printing. Overall, I have to say I'm very impressed with the print quality coming from the Adventure of 5M. Uh, there have been no massive failures or print imperfections anywhere. The only thing that frustrated me a little bit was that all the preloaded files had a pre-sliced bed temp of 35 degrees, and for my machine at least, uh, that just was not hot enough for the PLA to adhere to the bed properly, so I had to bump that up manually using the touchscreen display, but it, it's not that big of a deal, it was just a little bit frustrating because I couldn't just start it, leave the room, come back and have a finished one. Most of the time, I started it, left the room, came back, bit of a mess. If you're interested in a detailed review on the Adventure of 5M, then uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll uh, put one together for you. That's all for this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the print quality coming from this printer in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, happy printing.